Meet the Parker Solar Probe, the fastest human-made object in history, clocking in at a staggering 450,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to travel from New York to Hollywood in a mere 20 seconds. But what if I told you this is only 0.05% of light speed? Yeah, our record-breaking speedster is barely warming up in the cosmic race. Now let's put this into perspective. Even at this blistering speed, a trip to our nearest star system neighbor, Proxima Centauri, would take over 6,000 years. That's 4.25 light years away for those keeping track. So if you've got interstellar travel on your bucket list, you might want to start the journey soon, and don't forget to pack a few millennia worth of in-flight entertainment. But before we delve into the future, let's take a step back and understand the milestones that have brought us here. Our journey began with a bang in 1944, when the German V-2 rocket, a piece of technology that was as revolutionary as it was controversial, became the first human-made object to graze the edge of space. Fast forward a few decades to the 1970s, and we were launching the Voyager probes, our cosmic voyagers that are now hurtling through space at over 37,000 miles per hour. Despite their impressive speed, it took them over 40 years to reach the edge of our solar system. But they're still out there, still exploring, and still sending back invaluable data from the cosmos. In 2006, our curiosity led us to shift our focus to the icy dwarf planet of Pluto, launching the New Horizons. After a decade-long journey, New Horizons gave us our first close-up look at Pluto, revolutionizing our understanding of this icy dwarf planet. And let's not forget our Martian explorers, the Mars rovers. From opportunity and spirit to curiosity and now perseverance, each one has been faster and more advanced than the last, helping us to unravel the mysteries of our red neighbor. And no, they haven't found any Martian cats yet, but they're still looking. But why stop in our own backyard? Our ambitions stretch beyond our solar system, and that's where the Breakthrough Starshot project comes in. This ambitious project aims to send a tiny spacecraft, propelled by light, to our nearest star system, Proxima Centauri. This nanocraft could reach speeds up to 20% the speed of light, potentially making the journey in just 20 years. This project, backed by physicist Stephen Hawking and billionaire Yuri Milliner, could herald a new era of interstellar travel with an expected launch date in 2036. Now, you might be wondering, can we go even faster? Well, that's where artificial intelligence steps into the picture. You know AI is the genius behind your smartphone's voice assistant, or the wizard that magically suggests the next binge-worthy series on your streaming service. But AI's potential extends far beyond our daily tech. It's poised to revolutionize space travel. For example, it is already being used to analyze vast amounts of astronomical data, helping us to discover new celestial bodies and phenomena. It's also being used to optimize the design and trajectory of spacecraft, making space travel more efficient and less costly. In the realm of interplanetary exploration, AI is playing a crucial role. For instance, NASA's Perseverance rover, currently exploring Mars, uses this technology to navigate the Martian terrain, identify geological features, and even select targets for study. This allows the rover to operate semi-autonomously, making crucial decisions without needing to wait for instructions from Earth. But looking ahead, the possibilities are even more exciting. AI could play a pivotal role in long-duration space missions. AI systems could monitor the health and well-being of astronauts, manage onboard resources, and even assist with scientific experiments. In the event of emergencies, it could even provide quick and effective solutions, potentially saving lives. AI is also being used to develop advanced propulsion systems that could potentially catapult us to the stars faster. Imagine a future where this technology can design spacecrafts that can adapt to their environment, changing their form and function as they travel through space, or even repairing themselves when damaged. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's not. When NASA's Perseverance rover landed on Mars, it was artificial intelligence that took the wheel, guiding it to a safe landing spot. It's like having a super-powered space navigator on steroids. It can sift through mountains of data faster than a shooting star, making complex calculations and predictions that would take us mere mortals' years to complete. This could lead to spacecraft designs and flight paths that are more efficient, potentially putting our speed in space into overdrive. But AI isn't just about turbocharging our current methods of space travel. It's also our co-pilot in the development of advanced propulsion systems, like antimatter engines or even warp drives. So, buckle up! With AI in the driver's seat, we're shifting gears and accelerating towards a future where interstellar travel could become a reality.
Let's take a step back to 1994 when Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre proposed an idea that sounds like it's been taken straight out of Star Trek. He suggested the concept of a warp drive, now known as the Alcubierre drive. Imagine a spaceship that sits inside a bubble of space-time. This bubble acts like a cosmic conveyor belt, contracting space-time in front of the ship and expanding it behind. The ship isn't moving within the bubble, but the bubble itself is moving, carrying the ship along for the ride. The result? The ship could effectively travel faster than light. To better understand this, imagine a piece of paper, and on that paper, you've drawn a line from one edge to the other. This represents the vast distance between two points in space. Now, what's the quickest way to get from one end of the line to the other? You could travel along a line, but that would take a long time, especially if the line represents a distance as vast as light years. But what if you could fold the paper so that the two points on a line meet? Suddenly, the distance you need to travel becomes much shorter. This is the basic idea behind the Alcubierre drive. The paper represents space-time, and the folding of the paper represents the warping of space-time. The result of all this space-time manipulation, the spaceship could effectively travel faster than light. It's not breaking any laws of physics because it's not the ship that's moving faster than light, it's the space around the ship. It's a clever workaround that could, theoretically, allow us to achieve the dream of interstellar travel. But here's the catch. Powering this cosmic conveyor belt would require something a bit elusive, called negative energy. Now, negative energy isn't your grumpy neighbor or that downer at the office. In physics, it's a theoretical concept that's the opposite of the positive energy we use every day, like the energy that powers your car or charges your phone. Think of it like a bank account. Positive energy is like having money in the bank. You can use it to buy things, power your car, or charge your phone. Negative energy, on the other hand, is like being in debt. It's energy you don't have, and it's not something we can currently produce or store in large quantities. In the context of the Alcubierre drive, we need to create a warp bubble using this negative energy. But the amounts of negative energy you need to power a warp drive are astronomical, like trying to pay off a multi-billion dollar debt with a few pennies. So how do we overcome this hurdle? This is where our friend, artificial intelligence, comes in. It can help us understand and potentially harness negative energy. It's like having a supercomputer crunching numbers, analyzing data, and making predictions that would take humans years to complete. This could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of negative energy and how to harness it for warp drives. For instance, in 2021, researchers used artificial intelligence to design a new type of warp drive that could potentially be powered by conventional matter, making it as energy efficient as a hybrid car. It's like finding a way to run your car on water instead of gas. So, while we're not quite ready to pack our bags for a weekend trip to Proxima Centauri, with the help of this technology, we're making strides towards a future where interstellar travel could become a reality. Who knows? Maybe one day, we can explore galaxies far beyond our own, witness the birth of stars in the Carina Nebula, see the swirling whirlpool of the Whirlpool Galaxy up close, stand on the surface of an alien world, or look up at a sky filled with a trillion stars. To recap, we've discussed the incredible potential of AI in revolutionizing space travel, from optimizing rocket launches to developing advanced propulsion systems like the Alcubier Drive. We've also touched on the challenges we face, such as the need for negative energy and how artificial technology could help us overcome these hurdles. But now it's your turn. We want to hear your thoughts on the future of space travel and the role of AI in it. Share your ideas in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this cosmic journey, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your fellow space enthusiasts. Let's start a conversation about the future of space travel. Until then, we'll keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Because that's what we do. We reach for the stars. And with artificial intelligence by our side, there's no limit to where we can go. So, as we continue to innovate and explore, remember, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning.